chiropractors are trained to do very careful case histories and examinations to differentially diagnose problems that may require medical care. A chiropractor often will co-manage patients with medical doctors for patients who have conditions that require medical management on an ongoing basis. For example, in my practice, I co-manage many patients who have arthritis with their orthopedists or internists, and the medical doctors may recommend certain medications that are appropriate or other procedures but at the same time, I'll be seeing them chiropractically and the techniques I use uniquely are able to restore range of motion and decrease inflammation in those joints, which will slow down the progression of the arthritis in a way that the medications actually don't do. And so the patient will have the benefit of both of these therapies at the same time. There are certain contraindications to chiropractic care. And if a patient comes in with these conditions, the chiropractor will refer them for medical care. And that would include things like joint instability or severe ligament laxity, malignancies, aneurysms, or infections that are not being appropriately treated. These are issues that will need to be addressed by a medical doctor and are not appropriate for chiropractic care in the acute phase. Certain symptoms would necessitate further neurological evaluation and perhaps a referral. These symptoms would include things like myelopathy, loss of muscle mass, loss of muscle strength, loss of deep tendon reflexes, progressive profound numbness in the arms or legs, loss of balance. Your chiropractor may order an MRI, an EMG, or other diagnostic testing or refer you to an orthopedist or a neurologist. One final thought is that chiropractors are very careful about using techniques that are appropriate for each individual patient and their condition. And there are certain conditions, and two that come to mind are osteoporosis or bleeding disorders or someone who's on anticoagulation therapy. These are conditions that may be inappropriate for traditional chiropractic adjusting, but there are non-force, very gentle and very effective and safe chiropractic techniques that might be appropriate for these patients. And this is how we treat patients with these conditions in my office. So if you have these conditions, have an open conversation with your chiropractor about your condition so that your chiropractor can choose a technique that would be safe and effective for you.